everyone, it's Mary Charlotte, and today's video is going to be a review on the Naked Flushed palette from Urban Decay, and I recently hauled this in a video, so that video will be linked down below. It was my last video, so just click, click the link down below to go see it. But today's video is just going to be a review on the Naked Flushed palette, and I already said that, but this is what it looks like on the inside and the outside. It's just a nice small little palette that is perfect for traveling and it has a blush a highlighter and a bronzer and I love this palette a lot and it was requested for me to do a review on this so I wanted to do that video this is what the colors look like I have them swatched on my other hand this one and I will get up kind of close so you can see the swatches well so as you can see, the products are kind of sheer, but you don't want super pigmented cheek products because then you'll end up looking like a clown. So here's the highlighter. Uh, it's very, very pretty. I think it would be beautiful on all skin tones as well as the blush because it's dark enough to where it would show up on all skin tones, but it looks pretty on all skin tones in my opinion. And the bronzer just looks like this, and this is what the palette looks like up close. You definitely get the most bronzer out of anything, and then you get blush and then the smallest amount of highlighter. But I don't use that much highlighter. I probably use the most bronzer because it goes more on my face. And I think that they size that appropriately. And the bronzer looks great on my skin tone. I think um, I'm pretty pale, but I'm getting a little bit more tan for the summer, but not really. So this bronzer I think is perfect for anyone with a light skin tone. I think these two colors are perfect for any skin tone. And then this bronzer is perfect for a light skin tone. But even if you have maybe like a medium skin tone, I feel like it would be good as maybe like a crease color in your um, eyeshadow. Or I don't know, I think that you could find a use for this. But honestly, I really love the bronzer. I think that it would work for medium skin tones. It would probably not work for a dark skin tone. But it works really well for I think light to medium skin tones. And um, this is what the packaging looks like. So the Naked Flushed words are raised up here. And it just says Naked Flushed in gold. And then it says Urban Decay. And on the back it just looks like this. has like, you know, information and stuff. And then when you open it up, it just has this. And then the mirror. And it is magnetic. So... It won't like come open, which I really like. I like magnetic packaging. And this is it next to the Naked Basics palette from Urban Decay, which is an eyeshadow palette. And they definitely aren't made out of the same material. This one is a bit more rubbery, and this one's more like plastic. So I will just quickly show you what this one looks like. I don't like how you have to open the Basics palette with a like clasp, but it just has some matte eyeshadows and a full mirror again. And this is the size comparison. This one is just a bit taller. So. so in my opinion, I love this palette. It's honestly, I use it all the time. It's so great because what I do is like in this cart over here, um, it has 10 drawers and I store my makeup in it. And so in the top drawer, I keep my everyday products and... I keep this in my everyday product drawer and I love it because some days I don't want to wear blush and some days I'm too lazy to wear bronzer. I usually wear highlighter though but it's perfect because I don't have to keep switching in and out products. I just have all of them here together and it's very compact and I think that it's great for traveling. This product is $30 so it is quite expensive but you are getting three products you have to remember. Remember that you are getting three products so that would be like paying $10 for each product. So. I really like the palette and I think that it's probably worth the money. The packaging is really nice as well and I don't know, I just really really like this. If you're wondering, the Basics palette is $27 so they're both around $30 and I got mine at Sephora. You could also get it online at UrbanDecay.com or Sephora.com or I know that the, they sell these at Ulta, so Ulta.com or Ulta. So these are really easy to find. The Flushed palette, I probably like it a little bit better than the Basics palette. Just because the Basics palette is very basic. I have a lot of colors like this, so I didn't really need this. But this is very unique in my opinion. I have a few products that are like a blush and a bronzer, but I don't have anything with a highlighter, and I always use a highlighter. So I love this palette. I think that it, you, should, you all should definitely look into trying it. Now the winner of the Baby Loves. I choose the winner through random.org. It's very random. It's just whoever wins, wins. I don't like... Like, oh, that was a really cool comment. I choose that one. It's just like random. So the winner is 
Cynthia Mariah XO. I hope I said that right, but your name will be listed right here and in the description box. I will tweet to make sure everyone knows. And please message me on YouTube. And if you don't, then um, I'll pick a new winner. So please message me so that I can send you your prizes and stuff. So thank you so much for watching and subscribing to my channel. I hope that you all check out the Naked Flush Palette because it's honestly one of my favorite makeup products I own right now. Um, I know my makeup products that I love change all the time, but I honestly, I really like, like this palette. So you all should definitely look into trying it. So thank you so much for watching. I hope that this video was helpful to some of you that were wondering about this palette. So yeah, I hope you guys liked the video and thanks for watching and I'll talk to you all later. Bye everyone.